My Secret Garden by Jackie Gabrielle Chapter 2 Strangers and Public Places A crooked-headed cat sat under Jay's chair. Jay sat with her coffee cup, writing tablet, pens, and pencils, watching the leaves swirl around the yard. A storm was passing by the peninsula, headed for the northeast. New York and New Jersey were in for some rough weather. Rain, waves, wind, and snow. It looked as though West Virginia and parts north were going to see an early snowfall. The thought of snow caused Jay to long for ski slopes again. However, she had sold her first house to go to England and her second home to finish getting to California. She now had no house or home or job, so the likelihood of her ever going skiing again was slim. She had work to do here anyway. Relegalize cannabis was her new company motto. Speak out for the patients with AIDS, soldiers with PTSD, moms and sisters with bipolar disorder. There, those were the thoughts that spun around inside the tempest that was Jay's mind. Yes, she had a regular party going on inside her head. She thought, too, of her mother, Dee. Dee had taken her life some 18 years ago. She no longer wanted to live with the pain she suffered in her neck. The chiropractic treatments were no longer working for any length of time. The pills made her groggy. She was in pain constantly. If Jay had known then what she knew now, she would have offered marijuana to her mom. This is here and now, and she didn't know then what she knew now. Now she could only try and help others, and she would. Jay began gathering her belongings from the table and from the ground around her chair. The crooked-headed cat, sensing change, got up and walked out to the pineapple patch, snuggled in between the plants and stretched out to get maximum sunshine. Crazy cat. Jay prepared to go to the VA services office. She liked to think her mom was with her when she went to meet new people. People scared her. It was a mental health thing that caused her to be so wary of them. She had her mom and sometimes her medication, though, too. Even though the state that she lived in did not offer access without criminal ramifications, and 18 other states did, she felt blessed. This was her work now, medical marijuana advocation and education. She cheerfully headed off to distribute flyers and meet strangers in public places. To be continued.